All right, hello and welcome back to another wee bit different video. Today's video is a discussion video into the NBA, which we haven't really been able to do a whole lot, but I definitely wanted to get this one in because I thought it was a great question. How is your team going to beat the Denver Nuggets? So reading the, the body text here, it's no secret that the Denver Nuggets are looking like the favorites to win it all this season. I know everybody in the NBA is thinking, how do they stop the Nuggets this time? As a Laker fan, I think they need to stop double teaming on Jokic and let him be Jokic. You beat the Nuggets by shutting down everyone else. Put Rui on Jokic and let AD run free so he and Braun can lock up Gordon and MPJ. Then hopefully Vincent can go back and put you and put him on Murray. I don't think that would stop the Nuggets, to be honest with you. Like as a Laker fan, I think the Nuggets would definitely just outright beat us. I don't really think we have a shot in hell unless D'Lo goes off. Because Braun's going to do Braun things in the playoffs. AD just can't really seem to stop Jokic. So, I don't know. Looking at the top comment here, though, divine intervention. In other words, officiating. Yeah, officiating can stop literally any team in the league if the whistle is not going your way. Or especially if it's going not only not your way, but 100% to the other team's way where it's just super unfavorable. So, officiating, yeah, can get in the way of the Nuggets making a... A crazy run. Next person here, power of friendship. The reality is the Nuggets team is just scary. Jokic right now is playing like the best player in the world. There is just not a lot people feel like they can do. And again, even as a Laker fan, first of all, we have to worry about getting to the playoffs. But even if we got there as the eighth seed, oh, we're going to need a whole lot more than just the power of friendship. <laughs> Great take by a Heat fan. Swap Jokic for Jovic when no one is looking. <laughs> I mean, honestly, as you can tell, the the common theme here with these top comments is you really can't do shit about it. Uh, you just really have to hope. Uh, well, in this scenario, I'm just happy the Hornets made it at all. <laughs> all the way to the finals. We will ask politely. Yeah, Kings, Lakers, Warriors. Honestly, like no one aside from... Thunder, Wolves, Clippers are even remotely going to have a chance. Saying the Thunder is a stretch, to be honest, but they're the second seed right now, so I'm kind of just being generous. I don't think the Suns have a chance in hell. Pelicans don't have a chance in hell. Kings, Warriors, Lakers. As a Lakers fan, I'd like to tell you we do, but... Denver is just a different breed right now. Kings are 3-1 and one against them this season. We stand a chance, although I'm not sure we'll go the same during the playoffs. I'm going to be honest, you don't stand a chance. Reason being is because Jamal Murray, playoff mode activated, is... is Jokic is playing like a superstar no matter what. But now you activate Jamal Murray into the spotlight, like bro's game just evolves times 10. No chance in hell of beating the uh, beating the Nuggets. Y'all couldn't beat the Warriors last year, and the Lakers beat the Warriors. Are you that much better this year? Your your seeding is worse, so I would say you're not. So honestly, I I disagree. I don't think they stand a chance in hell. I think they lose four to one against the Nuggets. Seriously, the Nuggets would absolutely demolish the Kings right now. Great take by a Sixers fan, and I think most of the NBA fandom can relate to this. Well, I shouldn't say, you know, yeah, most of them because the only two teams make it to the finals. So how are they going to beat us is the real question, you know, because there's no shot we'll make it far enough for them to actually play us. Yeah, I don't think the Sixers get past, obviously, the Celtics. They don't get past the Bucks. Um, Knicks right now look like the better team than the Sixers. You know, obviously, with the health, healthy Joe Embiid, that could change things drastically. But who else am I missing? The Heat in the playoffs could obviously do what they did last year i i definitely wouldn't take sixers among amongst other teams funny comment here by a lakers fan keep one of Jokic horses hostage <laughs> the reality is <laughs> everyone with an actual pretty good take the reality is the nuggets are gonna possibly have to beat themselves or a team like the celtics bucks uh going back to the west wolves would have to be playing out of their goddamn mind 
I mean, Celtics look great anyway, so I would say Celtics have a chance. But this Nuggets team is so f- just incredible. When shit gets real, when they have a serious game, they're incredible. A random Sonics fan over here. I just wish I had a team. <laughs> On the plus side, I can say with 100% certainty that the Nuggets or any other team have zero chance of beating the Sonics this season. Okay, we got a serious take here. Not my team, but the Timberwolves with Cat healthy would be a great matchup. No one's stopping Jokic, but Rudy can give him trouble inside. Okay. Uh, Cat matches up with Gordon's size. Ant playing defense on Murray. Ant is also bigger than Murray, so forcing that matchup helps. Nas Reed and Solomon help with Porter or Gordon, but Cat ain't healthy, so who knows? I think this is a great follow-up comment though because it gives a little bit more in-depth. Uh, Jaden likely spends most of the time on Murray with Ant taking him in stints. I 100% would agree with that. Wolves defense is very good. Their weakness is clutch time offense. But honestly, same time, what has Anthony Edwards uh, got experience in in the playoffs? You know, a lot of these guys at, in the first time in the playoffs typically just don't go crazy. Uh, it's about getting those reps, and that's why a lot of people are so sh- unsure of Oklahoma is because they have literally just have not been there. So we don't know what it's going to look like on that stage. So that's my biggest concern with the Timberwolves is you do have someone like Mike Conley, right? Being a great point guard, leader, someone who can help guide the team. But guys like Cat, guys like Ant, guys like Jaden McDaniels don't have a lot of familiarity with that moment. Rudy Gobert, been there, obviously with the Utah Jazz and Donovan Mitchell, but they haven't done anything. He in particular hasn't done anything as well. So I'm not entirely sure the Wolves can compete with the experience of the Nuggets because people don't talk about it enough. Experience is obviously really key. Being in those moments, getting used to those moments helps you out a ton. Okay, so interesting sequence of comments here. Pelicans fan, nothing. We got Herb who can slow down Murray, but then you got that monster wearing 15. My Pels didn't get them in November at home, but Denver is the only team I fear. I hope we don't play them in the first round. If Denver, if Denver is the only team you fear, I got, I got a whole list of other teams that are going to be a problem. Seriously. Like, I'm not even sure they can beat. Like, I would take Timberwolves over the Pels, 100%. I would take the Clippers over the Pelicans, not 100%, but I would flat out take them. I would honestly, in a, in a playoff series, take the Lakers over the Pelicans. Granted, I have a huge bias, so you may want to disregard that. I would also take... The Suns would be a great matchup. I'd be curious to see how that goes. But... No. If, if Denver's the only team you fear, you're tripping balls. And that, and your fan, your fan inside you is showing. And then a Nuggets fan here commenting, Pels are the only team that makes me nervous. Y'all are so legit, and it reminds me of the old Nuggets when... We got good and nobody seemed to notice. There was a Ringer article about y'all, which finally put some spotlight on you this week, but I'm still shocked that people are sleeping on New Orleans this much. Dude, how is the Pelicans making you nervous, but not the Timberwolves? The Timberwolves would make me more nervous than the Pelicans, but even then, there's nobody on the West that can truly stop the Nuggets if the Nuggets play how they want to. Also, going back to this comment, Herb can slow down Murray. Nobody can slow down playoff Jamal Murray. It's just not happening. You have to understand Jamal Murray is not the focal point on the team. Jokic is. So Murray being able to do what he does best and just score when the, when the moment is at its biggest, most greatest moment, he's going to do that. That's what he freaking does. He hits wild threes, insane threes. Like, bro, are you like, are, you're like that now? Like you're suddenly like that? I think people downplay how good Murray is in these moments. Nobody's going to downplay Jokic. Obviously, Michael, MPJ, Sniper, Aaron Gordon, great in the interior. It's like, how much more often can we just pretend like Murray isn't a borderline superstar in the brightest moments? Honestly, you could argue he's a superstar in the brightest moments. Problem is, is that most of the season isn't highlight huge game moments most of the season isn't like that so you're not seeing Jamal do that every game but last year bro shat on us the entire Lakers series unreal shit dude Jamal Murray is a different breed solid comment here fully healthy the Knicks are a surprisingly good matchup against Denver the Knicks handed Denver their worst loss of the season by letting Jokic get his while putting heavy pressure on the rest of the team OG shut down and frustrated Murray 
and Randall is one of the few bigs that can match Gordon's strength. That said, Denver was on the tail end of a long road trip and clearly prioritized the following game against Embiid and the Sixers. Uh, one thing I'll say about the Knicks is I think they actually have a solid chance here at getting to the conference finals, but whomever they face between Celtics or Bucks, however that goes, because what are the Knicks, the third seed right now? Let's let's just double check this real quick. Okay, so Knicks are actually the fourth seed. Uh, one versus eight, and then it would be four, five. So Knicks would have to play Celtics. They're not beating the Celtics. I just, no. Knicks are not beating the Celtics. I think this is the end of that discussion because I'm pretty sure the fourth and fifth seed play. Yeah. Yeah, Knicks would have to play the Celtics if they beat Orlando, which they would be Orlando. Knicks aren't getting past the Celtics. Celtics are too good for that. I mean, hypothetically, if they did, then they'd have to take on the Bucks or the Cavs, most likely the Bucks. You're asking a lot to take out the Celtics, then the Bucks, then meeting Denver. I don't know. That's an interesting one. I, I don't think so. But but let's say they do get to Denver. Now you're talking about OG shutting down Murray consistently in a, in a, in a series of seven. I don't know. Randall, yes, would, would do definitely a solid job matching Gordon's strength. That's not a question. But it's just a matter of if you let Jokic cheat, you really have to hope his teammates don't do jack shit. Like just nothing. Nevertheless, so it's a great question to be asked. How is your team going to beat the Denver Nuggets? Personally, I think the only realistic teams that actually legitimately have a shot, I think the Timberwolves won't beat them, but you could say they have a shot. I, I would say, excuse me, I would say the Clippers, small chance. Uh, Thunder, small chance. Suns, no shot. Lakers, all those other teams, like no shot. Who else am I missing? The... Clippers, Thunder. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I'm not missing any other team, I think. Uh, in terms of the East Side, Bucks, Celtics, Knicks is it's gonna take a lot for the Knicks to get there. But if they did get there, I'd be curious to see how how that matchup definitely would hold out with Jalen Brunson, you know, looking to take over. Cause Jamal Murray ain't shutting down Jalen. That's just not happening. I don't even think they'd have Jamal on Jalen, to be honest with you. But who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Nevertheless, I appreciate you guys for watching. Let me know your thoughts if you have any. Anyway, this is Ollie Been Different. Oh, we've been different. And we out.